International Baccalaureate of Mathematical Studies uh, logic. This video is going to be looking at truth sets and the conjunction, the use of the conjunction in a truth set. So we're given P, X is a multiple of 4, such that X is greater than 18 but less than 30. Q, X is a factor of 24. R, X is an even number, such that X is greater than 18 but less than 30. Part A says list the truth sets P, Q, R, and then go on to solve or to write down P, conjunction Q, conjunction R. So we'll start with part A. Now the first truth set we need is the truth set P. So capital P, for the truth set, and we'll find all the elements in there by looking at the top line. X, the elements are X, are multiples of 4, greater than 18 but less than 30. So that gives us 20, 24, and 28. Likewise, we can find the truth set for Q. Q is a factor of 24, so 1 multiplied by 24 is 24. 2 multiplied by 12 is 24. 3 multiplied by 8 is 24. 4 multiplied by 6 is 24. The only number left is 5, and 5 isn't a, uh, a factor of 24, so we have all the factors there. R, the truth set R. X is an even number such that it's greater than 18 but less than 30. So 20, 22, 24, 28, and that's it, we can't have 30. We now have to write down the elements that are represented by P conjunction, Q conjunction, R. Conjunction replaces the word and, so it's elements that are in P and Q and R. Uh, it's a little bit like the intersection on a Venn diagram, so it must be in P, it's got to also be in Q, it has to also be in R. So we're going to now write P conjunction Q conjunction R is equal to, start with the true set P because there are only three elements in it. So 20, is 20 in the other two sets? 20 is not in Q so we can't have 20, it has to be in all three truth sets. Um, 24, 24 is in P, 24 is in Q, 24 is in R, so we can have 24, that satisfies the rules. And 28, it's not in Q, so therefore we can't have it. It happens to be in R, but it needs to be in all three. So, P conjunction Q conjunction R is equal to 24, and that's solved part A. Part B, uh, list all the elements I of P conjunction Q. So elements that are in P and Q. So we go to P, 20, is 20 in Q? No. 24, is 24 in Q? Yes. So we have 24. 28 is 28 in Q? No, so we can't have 28. So P conjunction Q is 24. Part 2. Q conjunction R. One. Is one in R? No. Two's in Q, is it in R? No. Well, I could waste a lot of time doing that because R starts at 20. So I'm going to go all the way up to 24 because uh, that's the smallest number that's in um, R as well. And again, it's just 24. Let's just be clear about that one. I started to look at Q, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. But really, I should have started on R with 20. 20 is not in Q, 22 is not in Q, 24 is, 
the 28 is in so that's why we can only write 24 for Q conjunction R and part 3 is P conjunction R so P 20, 20 is in P, 20 is in R I can have 20 in that set 24, is 24 in R? yes it is so I can have 24 in that set too 28 is in P, is it in R? yes it is, so I can have 28 also so P conjunction R the elements are 20, 24 and 28